Y'all know I'm thinking. And you know what happens when I get to thinking. I get to talking. So let's talk about this real quick. Why is it that men always have something to say to women about women? You know, why is it that men always have a critique or constructive criticism for women, but they never have that same energy for men? Since y'all are a little sensitive, I'll say some men, okay? Not all men, but most men. Feel better? I hope so. But me and my friend were talking about this the other night, and I just don't understand why there are so many rules for women, like when it comes down to what we wear, how we look, how we carry ourselves, what we say, how we act, what we do. There's critiques about makeup. There's critiques about hair. There's critiques about weight, size, whether you're too big or you're too skinny. And even if you get petty with it, there's literally critiques that men have for women about every little and my thing is, where is that same energy for y'all when it comes to critiquing yourselves? Because you don't want to hear it when we say something about what you're doing. But it's like y'all never hold each other accountable. One of the biggest critiques that women receive about men is how to act when a man is... We men get canceled for speaking on or critiquing women. Women are praised on TikTok and every single platform. So we men are getting canceled for critiquing women and women are getting praised for talking down about men. So that's, you know. it's not being a man. What to do when a man is being negative towards you or putting hands and feet on you or not being masculine enough or not being a leader. Those are some of the biggest critiques that women get of how to handle situations like that. Oh, you should have chose better because you should have known that he was going to be a deadbeat. You should have known from how he was acting that he wasn't going to take care of his kids. You should have known that he was going to beat your... You did this and that to provoke that man. But how come y'all don't have that same energy with these raggedy men and their action? How come you're not telling these men you shouldn't be a deadbeat or you shouldn't hit that woman or... Um, how we tell guys not to be deadbeats, we tell women... Don't date that deadbeat. You know, we'd be like, don't give that deadbeat a chance. He, You see him right there? That's a deadbeat. Don't give him a chance. If you do, that's your choice. But that's how we make sure them, them guys are so-called deadbeats. Don't get a chance with you because we let you know he's a deadbeat. Maybe you shouldn't cheat on your girlfriend. It gets real silent. <sighs> So well, I guess the point of me making this video is to say, as women, number one, because I'm going to address us first, because that's the point. We have to start being able to communicate with each other and understanding each other instead of competing with each other. We have to absorb. Y'all don't compete with each other. Y'all don't compete with each other. If two big girls was competing each other, who going to lose weight faster is not happening. Two women are not competing to be who's gonna be more feminine, who gonna click, um, who gonna cook, who gonna clean, who gonna be more submissive, fit. Y'all not competing with each other. Y'all uplifting each other. That's the problem. Y'all uplifting each other. You're not competing. There's no competition. Women do not compete. Like they don't compete. They do a weird thing. They don't compete because I told you even the side pieces when they sit here and say I want that position, she get that position. She's upset about that. You didn't compete. The other woman gave up. She was like, oh, you cheating on me? I'm leaving. <laughs> now nah, she got the place by default. These women don't compete. The side piece will go to the main guy and tell him, oh, you know, I'm coming to you as a woman. That's not competing. Competing will be like, she, you're trying to outdo everything she does. And you never let her know you're her competition. That will be, you know of her and she might one day find out about you, but it wasn't because y'all told each other. Y'all just found out. That will be competition. Y'all still hold y'all position and try to gonna keep the man. To go, I'm coming to you as a woman, or you're dating my man, that's not competition. That's not competition. If you're not fighting over that man, that's not competition. Y'all out here trying to got, um, tell the other one, he's cheating, try, so you can limit, that's not, com that's not competing. That's not competing. Fight for the man. Orb, constructive criticism, and 
give constructive criticism. We have to stop being bitter and catty and competitive with each other. We have to start acting with love towards each other so that we can receive love from each other. And most importantly, child, okay? Most importantly, we have to stop taking the advice that men give us as law. Because most of the time, the advice that men are giving us is so that it will benefit them and so that they will be. She's a single mother. Everybody in my chat, if you are happy or her being a single mom helps you out in any type of way, raise your hand. Like anybody, let me know if her being a single mom helps us, the black people or any man in this place. Like we're proud and we're happy that she's a single mom. Like, I don't know who's happy that you're a single mom. We don't know who's happy that you chose the wrong guy. Like, we don't know. We never, like. <laughs> Be able to work and catty and competitive with each other. We have to start acting with love towards each other so that we can receive love from each other. And most importantly, child, okay? Most importantly, we have to stop taking the advice that men give us as law. Because most of the time, the advice that men are giving us is so that it will benefit them and so that they will be able to more easily handle us. We have to see that. A man will tell his daughter, this is what you need to watch out for in men. This is what he's doing when he does this or that. Instead of stepping to men and saying that what you're doing is wrong. And what it boils down to is that men don't like to take accountability. Women sometimes don't like to take accountability. Humans struggle with taking accountability. You know why they struggle? It's because naturally your pride and your ego is going to step in and make you question what someone else is saying if it's unsatisfactory to what you see yourself as in the mirror. We are all imperfect beings. I told her to go to the gym and she still haven't went to the gym. Beings. But that's what really makes us perfect, being unique and being authentic. And each woman on this planet has something wonderful and beautiful about herself that she should be able to see and realize. And unfortunately, we as women have it extremely hard when we try to see those parts of ourselves because society makes us feel like we should be doing something better. When in reality, we have not been set up for success. And for you men out there who want to consistently get on these podcasts or you want to consistently get on social media platforms and critique what women are doing, talking about how we need to improve, go on and shut your mouth. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. Because it's time for you guys to start critiquing yourselves. It's time for you guys to start publicly shaming each other and holding each other accountable. Stop complaining about the type of women that are out here. Stop complaining about how hard it is to date. Because if you consider the ratio of public platforms where men are chastising women versus women chastising men, the ratio is extremely obtuse. Women may be out here complaining about what men do, but a lot of times it's because we are working towards self-improvement. And remember, that little thing called masculine and feminine energy, the masculine is the influence. So if you wanna wonder why the women are producing this type of content that you guys are complaining so much about, maybe you wanna turn around and look in the mirror and see how many men are producing that type of content. All we're doing is birthing your idea. And for the same amount of times that y'all have come online and talked about what we need to be doing, y'all need to be putting that same effort towards making content that shows men how to actually improve and have self-development. Because if you spent 10% of the time telling men how to develop themselves, as you do telling women how to develop themselves and do better, then there will be a lot more positive of an outcome that you see amongst the public. Stop telling your sisters and your daughters and your female family members how to avoid bad men and start whipping bad men into shape so they can be better period i don't know who was like the um uh, guy that ever gave her any advice she never took it 
She never took any of the advice. Um, again, just throwing away all accountability away from women. If okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run it through real quick. If we tell women the man has to be a certain type of man for him to be a father or a husband or a boyfriend. We're giving you a standard. We're giving you a list. We're giving you a man that you should strive to go for. So if the man don't meet the metrics, he should never have a chance with you. Sadly, we live in a society where, again, I keep trying to say we should start this, but it hasn't happened. We have to pick for them. Because I don't know why in the world we have to try to make sense of this. Ladies, if you go out there and pick a man and we tell you that's not the right man and you choose to stay with that man, that has nothing to do with the rest of us. It has nothing. To, if we tell you it's a no, don't pick him. Don't. That's not the guy for you. And you still go be with him and give him a child and then say he wasn't worth it. That has nothing to do with us men. We have no control over you. If we was the one that sit here said we'll pick the man for you, then we will have responsibility. But we don't have responsibility. And we don't have no damn authority. Y'all don't listen to us. But when things don't work out, it's the man's fault. Man should correct other man. Man should do this. We already do that. Male podcasts always talk about male improvements. And we say that you got to be this type of man. You got to do this. You got to do this. You got to raise your standards and stuff like that. Guys are constantly trying to tell guys, you got to be a better version of man. Funny thing, though, women podcasters, they're not telling most of them. Most of them are not telling women this. Go lose weight. You're fat. You're obese. Stop getting pregnant by them, guys. You already have one kid. You don't need multiple. Stop laying in bed with random guys. Stop collecting bodies. Stop being masculine submissive they're not telling them nothing they're just saying queen you're beautiful the right man will come for you and you don't have to change nothing they're uplifting their nonsense we don't see a man and be like oh yeah i'm a guy what what, what do you do for I'm, I'm i'm in between jobs you got a car nah i'm working on it um what are you doing right now i'm at home my mama and what are you here for? I'm looking for a girl. Looking for what? A girl. A, a girlfriend? Yes. Did you hear your resume? Yeah, but you know, I'm going to build up. We don't want to hear what you're going to build up. You have no foundation. It's a no. Get off my mama. No, move on. That's how we end it. We say you don't even qualify. And we move on to the next guy. A woman will come over there. I have six kids. I have this. Your standards are very high. I mean, it's going to be hard finding a man. No, throw her away. They don't throw them away. We will literally have men on platform. We'll say, you don't qualify. Next participant, move out the way. You don't qualify. Come in out here with this nonsense. I don't have a job. I don't got a car. I'm trying to figure it out. When you figure it out, they come back in line. But women will have this conversation like her as a single mom. She will sit here and say she's still qualified for a certain kind of man. Like That don't make no sense. And the women will support her. Preach. Yes, yeah, sister, the right man will come if you. It's nonsense. We hold men. A, a man cannot sit in front of the other man with job and he has no job, nothing going on in his life. And he will preach to us anything. We will ask, what do you do for a living? That's we will all ask this question. What do you do? Uh, like, what do you what's your day to day? Who you have a girlfriend? You don't have no job. Who? What do y'all stay at her mama house? You stay at her mama house with her. And she she drive me around like she you, you drive her car. She have a dad in there. We ask if there's a father there. There's a reason why we ask that. We don't trust the mom. We don't trust the mom because they're quick to say, I stay at the dad. There's no father that's going to sit here and watch another man who don't have a car, who don't have a vehicle. I mean, who don't have a, 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 a job, who don't have nothing going on, no establishment. He's out here smoking weed and chilling and stuff. And he's saying, I'm going to go live with that girl and her father. The father will tell daughter walk through the door, and he'll be like, "Um, young man, where you going? Who who are you? I'm her boyfriend. I need somewhere to stay. You wanna? You need somewhere to do what? I I need somewhere to stay. Who told you we had a spot here for you? Oh, um, now I'm her boyfriend. I I just need somewhere to stay. Like you know, I'm just trying to figure out my life. Where's your parents? 
I left my parents' house. I'm, I'm, I didn't want to deal with that nonsense. And you think you can come stay here with my daughter? It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. That is literally a man doing his job, the accountability and everything. We're trying to stop stuff that you don't realize. These men that have nothing going on, you know who they go live with? That girl and her mother. That girl and her mother. Ain't no father saying that, oh, my daughter and her boyfriend could come live with us. They ain't doing that dumb stuff. But again, the male podcasters, they don't hold each other accountable. We tell you, don't date these guys. We tell you, have these standards before you give birth and stuff like that. We tell you, have these standards before you lay in bed with guys. Yeah, I sit here and be like, you don't know women. How can you give women advice when you don't know women? What kind of dumb logic is that? No matter what we say, y'all going to do what y'all want to do. And we have to accept it. It is what it is. I just don't understand where the lack of accountability comes from. For every mistake women make, it comes back to us men. Y'all should build better man. Y'all should help man be better and stuff like that. Y'all should correct these mans out here. We can have a neighborhood of the perfect group of men right here. Boom, this neighborhood. And we can have a neighborhood of all the worst men in the world. The women will be with the worst men. And after they get beaten, abused, and pregnant and stuff like that, they would migrate over to the good population and say, I need somewhere to stay. The guys over there don't have nothing going on. They just want to be toxic individuals, narcissists. You had an option of picking the good side or the bad side. You saw excitement in the bad side. After your trial and tribulation and everything and all the trauma and stuff, now you want the good side. And you want the good side to come. Oh, come in, ladies, come in. You got three baby daddies. You mentally unstable. You have nothing going on. Come in. I take on that burden. That's not how life works. There are good men. And they're presented to women all the time. Women don't want the man. Like, it literally what happened. They don't want them guys. Is These guys are only visible after they've been beaten and abused and disrespected and have kids with these guys. Somehow, someway, they see a little light. Is that a good man? He's been standing the whole time. He's been like, hey, I've been here the whole time. I work with you, by the way. Really? Yeah, same job. I gave you, like, a marker one time. You was like... I have a man. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I'm good. I, don't, I have a man. Okay. I was like, okay. I just thought you needed a marker because you was like, I need a marker. So you work. I work with you. And also one time, you know, I opened the door for you because you were a woman. So I, I'm being a gentleman. I opened the door for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. And are you single? Yes. Are you, do you, you want to go up? No, no, no. I, I know you have like three baby daddies. I know you have three baby daddies. No, it's a no. Because I, I liked you when we first started the job. You was a single woman, no problem, stuff like that. Later, I heard you talk about your three baby daddies. You've been through a lot of things. And, you know, I was going to give you a chance, but you never looked at me. And when I did approach you one time, you told me I'm good. And you was, I'm just trying to focus on work. And I was like, okay, okay. But somehow, somewhere, that other guy got you. And I don't know how he did it. He doesn't even have a job. You told everybody your boyfriend don't have a job. But you gave him three kids. Yeah, I did. And you have other baby daddies. Yeah, that's life. Okay. And I don't see why I would accept this. But you got to understand, I was here. When, when you could have had me when you first met me. When you first walked through that door. When I first approached you, you had all them opportunities. Well, you don't know my situation. I don't need to know your situation. I don't need to know your situation. I would never be a part of your situation. And that's how it ends. <laughs> You don't get to get better after you go through all the horrible things and you don't even hold yourself accountable. There's no self-reflection. You keep saying, make better man, do it better. Again, good men are around. Yeah, I just don't see them. For some odd reason, they're invisible. But all the horrible men are very much visible. It is crazy to me. It is crazy to me. But we have to sit here and tell you, even the worst podcast men out here, they still tell men, go get your money up, go get your life up, go to the gym. You have to get right because these women are ruthless. That's what they tell me. Even the worst, even the most fragile podcast, they be like, man, go get your money up, man. Go get to the, like, we still, 
There's no women out here saying, get your fat behind off that couch and stop eating all them churros and stuff and get your behind in the gym and start working out. Get your life together, girl, and stop wearing that goddamn makeup. Stop wearing them all them crazy nails and stuff and stop putting on them eyelashes. Take off that wig. Get your life together and stop being masculine. Women don't come for women like that. You know what she's going to do? She's going to end the call. Boop, boop. Why, why is she coming for her like that? Why is she attacking her like that? Why is she in saying nicer? People have been telling her get her ass off that couch for um people been telling her get her ass off that couch for years. She never got off that couch. Maybe a different approach would have helped. But again, when you come for women like that, like literally, we men been telling saying every male podcast always say male improvement. We want male improvement, male improvement, male improvement. That's what we want, male improvement. And we're not just talking about finding we're being physical too, male improvement. It is, for some odd reason, women can't even tell other women to lose weight or stop picking the wrong guys. Well, if you stop picking the wrong guys, oh, she's bashing her now. She's bashing her. Accountability will always be somewhat a delusion for modern women. I don't understand. 